Hello, welcome to LC Screen Talk. My name is Larry, and this is my review of Hector and the Search for Happiness. This is one mouthful of a title, isn't it? And it's the latest from cult icon superstar Simon Pegg. And it has his charm written all over the picture, and I think that happens to be a good thing. So overall, I really enjoyed this film, and I'm going to go ahead and tell you why. First off, our lead, played by Simon Pegg, named, you guessed it, Hector, is wonderful. He's quirky, he's relatable, he's well-developed, and you really enjoy being along for the journey with this character that is Hector. He plays a psychologist who goes around the globe searching for happiness in what starts off as, as research. He plays a very nuanced character and I think Simon Pegg plays him wonderfully. He gets all of his small quirks down, he gets the underneath layers of the character perfectly so that he's not just one note, he's not just this goofy, quirky, naive guy. No, you can tell there's something bubbling underneath. There's something there. There's a lot of layers to this character that we're not getting let on. And throughout the film, we're able to really discover these layers with Hector himself and the characters around. So I thought it, that was really wonderful. Along with Simon Pegg, though, the supporting cast is fantastic in this film. Now, these characters don't get all that much to do, but they're all there. They do serve a purpose in Hector's journey at some point. Um, so we do have Toni Collette plays a part, but she definitely was my least favorite of the, the bigger cameos. Cameos I really loved started with Stellan Sarsgaard, and he was just a funny businessman. Kind of the first cameo that we meet along the way. I thought he played his part really well, and his character was really funny. And then we run into Jean Reno, and his, actually, his segment of the film was my favorite segment of the entire movie. I thought it was hilarious, it was the funniest part of the movie, it didn't quite have the joyous feeling and, like, the uplifting feeling that the movie overall had, but it was just funny, and I, I thought it was great. And then Christopher Plummer. He did have a joyous, fun feeling, and I thought he played his part really well, he was funny, and he was there kind of purely as comic relief, but I thought it worked really well. So all of the supporting cast was fantastic, and they really elevated all of the material. I thought the writing was good as is, but these characters made it feel real, and it all still kept that light tone to it. This film obviously didn't have a big budget, and I thought they creatively used their sets very well. There's a lot of great um, set pieces shot on location, like the African scenes are gorgeous, the Chinese atmosphere is wonderful. So all the different location settings are just a joy to be a part of and get to experience. And even some smaller things make it really playful to know that, hey, we don't have the biggest budget, but we're a comedy, and we're, we're quirky, we're fun, we know how to poke fun at ourselves, and you're right there with them, and you think it's fun and quirky, and you love it right there with them. And finally, this movie just leaves you feeling uplifted. It is kind of like an uplifting, inspiring comedy, and there are definitely funny parts throughout. It's, it's not a roll-on-the-floor laughter kind of comedy. It's not Neighbors or 22 Jump Street. It's nothing like that. It is like a quirky, feel-good comedy, and that's what it does to the audience. It makes you laugh throughout. It makes you giggle, but then you leave the theater feeling good and feeling uplifted and optimistic about life. And I think it really does succeed on that front. So along this journey for happiness, where are the missteps in this film? Well, like the title suggests, this is Hector's journey. And an unfortunate side effect to that is that Hector is really the only character that gets any sort of real development. And he does get a lot of the development. He does feel like a real human. But everybody else in the movie, with maybe the exception of his girlfriend, who gets baby development and is a sort of established character, everybody else 
is just one note. And they're there to literally serve the lesson that they were written into the film for. And that's kind of a drag, is to have only one fully developed characters and then have people pop in to help teach a lesson throughout. But really, where the biggest fault in this film lies is that it was exactly what I expected when I walked in the movie theater. It is very conventional. It doesn't throw you for any loops. There are maybe a couple turns that you might not have expected. Just because he is going to all these different locations, you are put into weird scenarios and you can't really predict where those specific scenarios are going to go really with any movie. But you can pretty obviously map out what his journey is going to look like in a vague sense. And you could show us that plot scenario that they came up with before actually writing the script for this film. And unfortunately it doesn't veer from that conventional formula. And in these movies we are topped off with a nicely wrapped pretty bow to help you feel uplifted and inspired. And unfortunately I think a movie this smart and this quirky and this fun could have taken some more risks. But really that was my biggest problem with the movie, was the, the lack of risks or the lack of surprises. Because overall, I had a really good time being along for the ride, even if I knew where the end destination was. Uh, it's like Christopher, Christopher Plummer's character says in the film, sorry I'm going to butcher this quote, but happiness shouldn't be the destination, you should find happiness in the pursuit. So. That's kind of like what this film is. We know where the destination is going to be, but we're happy just pursuing that end destination. And that's really all you can ask for for a film. So definitely I recommend this, probably as a matinee, just because I think you could rent this and it, you would be just fine. Definitely worth a rental, definitely worth checking out there. But especially if, if you're having a down day or you just want to feel good during your lunch hour or something, head on over to the theater, you have an hour and a half to kill. Stop in, search for happiness with Hector. I promise it'll leave you smiling. Ultimately, Hector and the Search for Happiness is a safe, pretty much conventional, but overall satisfying movie that I really enjoyed. So, that has been my review for Hector and the Search for Happiness. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, go ahead and click like down below. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you aren't left out in the dark when any new videos are posted. I love you all so much for your support. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!